Okay, so Mr. Ruffs here, and what we're going to do is we're given a function g of x is 3x squared plus x. It's transformed by a series of transformations in the following order. First one's a stretch parallel to the x-axis. And so if I'm parallel to the x-axis, it means it's doing this kind of scenario. And so it, my x value will change to 3x comma y. It means it's a horizontal stretch is what this means. Horizontal translation to the right two means my xy will change to x plus 2y. Then I change to a vertical translation. So my vertical translation means my xy, well, it's going to go, my x stays the same, but my y coordinate increases by 1. When I take my vertical stretch by 2, it means my x value remains but my y value is two times larger. And then a reflection over the x-axis. I always have to think about that to make sure I get my signs right. I know this value reflects over the y-axis, over the y-axis, so my x value changes to a negative. And so when doing this, we have to recognize that my horizontal transformations are independent from my vertical trans transformations. Even though I'm going in this order going down, the blue ones affect the x's, the horizontal, and the green ones affect the y's. And so I'm going to start my image point for x, I'm going to call u. This is my new x value. So my old x, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to multiply by 3 in this order, and then I'm going to add 2 to it. These are vertical, so I don't need to worry about it, but then I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to multiply by negative because the order matters and it's going to happen to the entire x value. Okay, so there is my new image point for u. For v, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with y. I'm going to add 1 to it because it's going up 1, and then all of this is multiplied by 2 plus 1, all of this is multiplied by 2. And so, if I convert this one, I'm going to rearrange the equation solving for x. I'm going to subtract, subtract the u, which gives me 3x plus 2, subtracting the 2 and divided by 3, subtract 2, divide by 3 is equal to x. And then similarly with the y's, if I rearrange this, I get a half v minus 1 is equal to y. And I'm going to take these x and y and plug it into this equation here. I know y is 3x squared plus x. My y, I substitute y is equal to 1 half v minus 1 is equal to 3, and now I just do the algebra. I substitute this in, negative u minus 2 over 3 squared, plus a negative u minus 2 over 3. And I'm going to start to do some algebra on here. I'm going to keep this 1 half. I will add 1 to this side, moving it over. This is, this negative I can factor it out, square it, it goes away, and so it's going to be 3u plus 2 over 9 squared, and then it's going to be minus u over 3 minus 2 thirds plus 1. Half v is equal to, so I'm going to get u squared, double the product for u, plus 4, each of these are divided by 3, minus u over 3, minus 2 thirds, plus 1. And so if I collect like terms, I know I have u squared, this and this is 4 thirds minus 1 third is 3 thirds, so that is plus u, 3 thirds is 1. 4 thirds subtract 2 thirds is 2 thirds, plus a 3 thirds is going to be plus 5 thirds. Multiplying by 2, v is equal to 2u squared over 3 plus 2u 
plus 10 over 3. And so I know my equation is going to be 2x squared over 3 plus 2x plus 10 thirds. And this is my new transform equation. When I go through this series of transformations, I end up with this equation. And graphically, I've taken the liberty to go through the graph and graph them both. Here's the original, the red one. Here's the transformed one. And if I go through these transformations, if I look at my vertex here, first of all, I'll do the x values first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take negative 1.67, my x value, multiply by 3. I'm going to multiply by 3, which I did. I get negative 0.5. It's going to be exactly 0.5. Here's the rounding. So that puts it over here to negative 0.5. Then I'm going to add 2 to it, so it means I'm going to go 1, 2. So now I'm over at positive 1.5. And then I reflect it over here to negative 1.5, which you can see the x value of my vertex is negative 1.5. Then if I look at my y value, if I look at my y values, I know the first thing I'm going to do to this vertex is I'm going to add 1 to it, which will put me up to here at and if I look at that computation, negative 0 0.83 plus 1 is 0.917. So here I'm up at 0.917. And then I take that y value and I multiply it times 2, which you can see I did here, which gives me 1.834. So it goes up here to 1.834, which is my vertex here. And so my vertex has clearly gone to here, and so you can see the transformation works. If I want to highlight the x-intercepts, I'll do the horizontal parts for the x-intercepts. If I multiply the 0 times 3, I get 0. This is 1 third. Negative times 3 puts me over to 1. I then shift them all over 2, so this is going to go over 1, 2, to here. 0 will go over 2, to here. Notice the vertex is still in the middle. Here's and then I reflect them. So this 2 becomes negative 2. This 1 becomes a negative 1. And if you look up here, those are the x values, which are the corresponding vertices, uh, x, the corresponding x-intercepts from the original function. So we can do this technique of keeping track of our image points and find our new functions.